Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you a fast method to brighten up a dull photograph. And I'll be demonstrating this in Photoshop Elements 2025. This also works in earlier versions as well though, so it's a good all around technique. And this isn't the only way to improve your photos in Photoshop Elements. There are lots and lots of other ways, lots of tools in here. If you want to learn all about those different tools, take a look at my complete training course. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Okay, to start this project, I'm just going to delete all of these layers up here. Hit the delete key. This takes us back to the original photo right here. Now, I always like to make a duplicate of the background whenever I'm working on a project, just as a safety. In this case, we're going to be needing that layer as well. So it's a good idea to have that in here. Now, we need to do two things. We need to brighten this up and we need to add in more color into this. So let's do the color part first, since that's just a little bit trickier, although not much. And then we'll tweak the brightness as a secondary step. Okay, for the color, this is a fun trick. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Gradient Map right here. Click on that. Where it says Use Previous Layer, make sure you check that. That limits this technique to this one layer here so it doesn't touch the background layer. Choose OK. Now what the Gradient Map does is it maps the light and dark parts of the photograph to a gradient. In this case, the darks left-hand side are being mapped to black, and the lights are being mapped to white. So it gives us a black and white image. If I chose a different color in here, it would map those values to different colors. The left side for your darks, the right side for your lights. You can see it in here, the shadows are in that blue, and the lightest part is this hat, and it's over in the yellow. And the one I wanna be using is this one right here. It's a purple to orange, and it looks like a normal photograph with just a color tint on it. Left side is mapped to a purple, right side is mapped to an orange, we can use this to push our colors cooler left-hand side and warmer right-hand side. Okay, just close that down. There's our gradient map. Now to make this work, we need to blend this layer into the layer underneath. So the gradient map is being applied to this layer. Let's now blend this layer into the background layer. Your blend modes are right up here, and there's lots of these blend modes, as you can see. And if you click and then scroll with the wheel on your mouse, you can kind of scroll through all the different blend modes and see what you get. And some are kind of interesting. Lighter is not too bad. Screen is not too bad, but we're losing some richness in there, but there are lots of these. Color Dodge is pretty strong and dramatic. The one I want to use right down here is Soft Light. There we go. And that gives us a nice blend in here, going from lights in the hair to darks in the shadows. And as you can see here, the lights are now warmer and the shadows are now cooler. So we have push that color separation between the warms and the cools, and that helps to add more color into the image. Of course, it's still not bright. We still have kind of a dull image. It's brighter than it was. If I hide that, you can see we've added a lot of color into that, but I want to brighten this up and make it a bit more contrasty. We'll do that on the background layer down here. So I'll go back up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels this time. Same thing. Check that checkbox. And notice how the values in this image are really kind of grouped in the middle. If we hide that, we're not seeing any real dark darks, nothing over here, left-hand side. We're not seeing very much in the light lights, just a little bit in the hat. So all the values are grouped in towards the middle and we're seeing that in there. So we can easily adjust that. And I'll bring the other layer back up again by moving the blacks towards the black, like that, moving the whites in further. And then we can lighten the image by moving the mid-tone values. So we'll get our light right up in here. So it's nice and bright. Richen our darks down by bringing the blacks in a bit so we can get some actual blacks in there. And bring our whites up to get some light back again. So we're increasing the contrast and pushing the overall tones brighter in here. If I take this to the right, everything gets darker. If I go to the left, it gets lighter on the mid-tones. And this is just a balancing act to find just the right amount that you like. And that's a personal choice. You may like it a bit darker. You may like it a bit lighter. That part is up to you. Also, you need to check the output on this. If you're taking this out to a screen like this, it's going to look different than if you're taking it out to print. So you need to test this in your final output. If you're printing it, do a print, see how it looks, make sure you're using the best printer paper you have. You may wanna come back and readjust these things. That's why it's nice to use these adjustment layers. If you close that layer down and then come back, click on the thumbnail or double click like that, it brings your adjustment back up again and you can come back in and you can tweak this. So it allows you to do some testing and some tweaking after you've applied your adjustment. As you can see, real fast, real easy technique, and one that I tend to use a lot. 
Let's now compare this to the original. I'm going to right click on this and duplicate this background layer. Now let's drag it up on top. So there's the original image. We'll hide that. And here's our improved image. And I think it's a vast improvement, real fast and easy. Once you learn this technique, you can do this in just a few seconds. It's actually a very fast technique. Now again, if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, check out my complete training course for that. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and give my video a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed, I'm doing new videos all the time for Photoshop Elements and also other graphics programs. And I'll see you next time.